Hi grade tens, welcome to yet another video where we will be continuing with calculations. In this video, we will be calculating the perimeter of our three given floor plans. So remember the perimeter, we add the total of all sides of the walls. All of the sides must be added. So let us let me zoom in so that we can go to the first floor plan and actually figure out the dimensions of it. So on this side, you already have eight. For this side that I will call A. For side A, we have eight and then for side B, it's already 8, it's given there, and then for side C, which is this 3, side D, it's 2, and then side E is also 2, because 8, this total 8 minus this 6 gives you 2, and then side F, it's 3, and then side G, six as I've mentioned and then H would be three again and then this one here I we would then get 11 the total length there 11 minus that three I mean minus that eight this total here to get this bit then we would get three and then here we have ten on side J so we have 10 sides that we must ensure that we add together. And I'm just going to, because parameter doesn't have a specific formula that you must use to calculate. So what you can do is you can name your sides A up to, A up to, or however many sides that you have, and then just start adding them so i'm just going to demonstrate with the first one and then the rest you can just be able to i'm sure you will be able to do on your own so with the first one here since i have all of my sides since i have all of my sides i'm just going to start so we said it a plus b c d E, F, G, H, H, I, J. So you can all the way up to J, as you can see here. Now it's time to add the sides, I mean the actual number. So we found that A was 8 plus 8 again, plus 3, plus 2, plus 2, plus 3, plus 6, plus 3, plus 3, plus 10. So the total would then would then be 48, 48 meters. So you have 48 meters. Remember it's perimeter, so there is no need for meters squared. You just add the sides and then just put everything in meters. So for the second one, for the second one we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sides. So with that, we should be able to get A up to I. So we we'll get A plus B plus C plus D plus E F G H I. 
So those are the sides that we have. Now let us figure out the dimension. So we have six, six here, that's seven, this here, eight, five, and then a total of six going that way, meaning that this would then be one without having to divide it here. So if we remove this, then add this to that, then we would get one. So let us start writing our site. So we said five. So we have show sure Okay, so we have five plus firstly one seven going that way and then coming down six then going that way it's three coming down five that way eight going up six that way seven going up then we get six so that would give us a total of a total of fifty four meters. Now for the third one, let's go to the third one. So let us see how many sides we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, meaning that we will have A up until J. So our parameter will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Then now, let us start calculating I'm just I'm just going to zoom out so that I can be, can be able to see what I'm doing so we have that part which is 13 so 13 and then going down so that would be 4 so this would be on side B and then C, D, E, F, let's just say G, then H, I. Hmm. Did I miss any side? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I missed this. So this would be I and then he would have J. So we have, and then we add B. So for C, we had already figured out when we were calculating area that this little piece here is three. So it's three, and then you can see the four is given for D. Oops. The way that I'm breaking this lead will be finished soon. And then for E, it's the 6. 6 again plus 4. And then the total of this side is 13. And then we figured out that this one here, it's just 1. And then the 3, I mean. Then the last one is 11. So here we would get a total of meters so as you can see we now have our perimeter so for both of what we have just done here for both the area and the perimeter you need to ensure that you include all of the walls for the perimeter obviously you would use you would calculate all sides of the walls literally every side that you're given and then for the area you just have to ensure that you 
divide your little floor plan into rectangles that will help you figure out the area still of all of the walls that you added. I hope that this knowledge helped and you will be able to continue it further. All the best and thank you so much for watching.